Guten Tag, Antelo. I'm Lyle from Drangzada Name, and welcome to Help Will Come Tomorrow. This is a new series that I'm starting, and it's also kind of a resource management game, but but it's a little different from Yes, Your Grace. This is much darker, a little more adult, not as fun. And I think your characters can actually die in this and we can and probably will fail and then have to try again to get to just another day. I think this is more on the line of this War of Mine, if you know that game. And it was suggested to me by my good friend Lucky Denver from Stay Lucky Games, whose link I will, whose channel link I will put in the description below so you can check him out. He deserves all the love and praise in the world. And I think we just go and start a new game and see what this has in store for us. Let's do this. Oh, right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The passenger level is the least demanding experience. Okay. More resources and animals in the taiga, less threat and aggression from renegades, milder weather and events. Choose characters. I don't know what all of this means, so we'll leave it on random. Chance of serious wounds on start. New scenarios soon. Wind of the Damned. Final showdown. Also don't know what that means. Um, a survival level is an optimally balanced experience where the aspects of survival and the story are equally important. Diversified character traits and initial characters condition. Average number of resources and animals in the taiga, renegades and the weather can give a hard time. So this sounds like this is the way it's supposed to be played. So we'll go with this one. Okay. Um, Sir Edward Grey. Grigori. I don't know what... No, we'll leave it on random because I, I don't... I don't know what these people do anyway, so uh, we'll just leave it on random. And yeah, um, also Lucky Denver did a first impression of this game on his channel. That's uh, where I have seen it before. So you should also check that out. But I want to do a series on this. I, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm able, but we'll try. Clavator. Arc light. Russia. We were all passengers of this speeding train. Divided into classes, quarreled, confined in our compartments. There was someone's story hidden in each of them. War, escape, adventure, fight for change. Subcutaneously, however, we we all felt what the end of this journey with the water. That was a word I didn't know. I'm sorry. Uh oh. At that moment, all the visions disappeared. Aha, and our stories merged into one. So they are from different factions, I guess. And now they have to come together to survive. We've barely escaped death. Can you hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. This is a replay from Znamensky Square. The Tsar supporters are opening fire to the proletarians. I am so sorry I will butcher every single Russian name in this game. I am very sorry. You are talking nonsense. They are just thugs or deserters. Don't talk so loudly because they'll hear us. We've run a long way. I think we can take a rest here and the snow will cover our footprints. 
Do you want to use the manual describing the mechanics of Help Will Come Tomorrow? Yes, because I have no idea how this game works. The key aspect of the character's survival is satisfying their basic needs, shown in the form of statuses. Hunger, thirst, frost, fatigue. Each of them has its own individual effect on the character. To know them, you can hover over their icon. Okay. This character is thirsty. There is a bit of clean water in your inventory. Give it to the thirsty character. Okay. Uh. All right. Ah. Which character is that? This one. Ah. Ah, clean water. Great. Now let's move on to the character card. To do this, select one of the portraits from the panel on the left. Character card is place where all the most important information about each character is located. The, win the window is divided into three tabs. We will start from discussing the character section. Each character belongs to one of the three factions. Oh, so I was right. Aristocratic, revolutionary or neutral. Faction affiliation defines the initial attitude of the characters to each other and affects the course of night conversations around the campfire. Traits are the characters' unique features. They appear during the game as a result of conversations, actions or events. They can have both positive and negative impact on the outcome of the characters' actions in the camp. Health level can determine how many ailments a character can endure. Decrease of health to zero means death. Morale means how much conflict and sacrifice a character can endure. High morale makes it possible to regain action points lost in the morning by negative statuses. The morale level can be increased by performing actions corresponding to the character and conducting dialogues in a manner consistent with the beliefs and nature of the character. So you have to keep in mind what faction they are in and what would boost their morale, I guess. Current character statuses are also visible in the character card. In addition to the basic statuses discussed earlier, the game has a number of special statuses including, among others, disease, injuries or mental states of characters. Some of them may have a time limit on a given number of days. Section exceptional statuses exceptional statuses may, may prevent from leaving the camp or block some actions. Action points represent the, th the strength and readiness of the character to act. They are used as a result of taking actions in the camp, such as removing snow, building, creating items, cooking, exploring or caring for other characters. A fully functional character starts a day with three action points. Every two negative statuses reduce this number by one. This is where the slot for the character's clothes is located. The quality of its performance reduces the cooling of the character. The next tab as part of the character card is the relationship section. Oh god, there's so much! The relationships section presents the attitude of the selected character towards other team members. Next to the portrait of a given character, there are three statistics specifying this relationship. Trust, friendship and credit. Changes in the relationship occur during joint work and night talks. Relationships affect the quality of jointly performed actions and the course of dialogues. Trust determines how much one character believes in the good intentions of the other. It increases as the characters spend time with each other and learn something about their past. Friendship determines how much one character likes the other character one, uh, likes the other character and wants to spend time with them. It increases when the characters perform actions together and agree during conversations. Credit determines how much one character appreciates the skills and competences of the other. It increases when the actions performed by that character bring a positive effect. My story, alright? In this section you can learn more about the character. As a result of night conversations, team members get to know each other better, discovering their stories and motivations. Alrighty. To survive, the characters will also have to take care of their camp. Within the camp, you can build five structures. Campfire, shelter, workshop, quarantine and fence. Before building a new camp structure, or when it is buried as a result of the weather, the action of removing snow must be carried out. Select a zone where the campfire will be built. Okay. 
This is the campfire structure window. Before we can build and develop the camp structure, we need to clear the area where it is to be erected. To do so, you must perform the action remove snowbank. So let's move to its overview. After removing the... Oh, well, each action in the game represents the action of the character. Actions include removing snow. Yes, we know that. Action points, blah, blah, blah. After removing the snow, we will be able to put a camp structure in this place. I don't have a shovel, I don't think. Okay, so that takes one action point. And everyone can do this. So, why not you? Description of the... Yes, yes, yes. This area presents requirements on optional tool. It's not required to perform the action. However, if it is present in the camp after clicking the slot it is possible to add it to the components of the action when using optional tool there's a small chance of regaining action points during the action nice erecting new structures increases the overall quality of the entire camp structure okay let's move on to the performance and the selected action to do this we must assign a character to perform the task action of removing snow is the work for one character only. Let's assign one of the characters available on the left. Okay. I think I thought we already did that. Due to the fact that we do not have any auxiliary object, let's proceed to the approval of the action. Okay, now she's... And we are gaining resources, I guess. By her doing this. Action of removing snow unlocked the possibility of erecting camp structures. Each such structure contains development tree, a development tree, in which building individual components unlocks new types of actions and further improvements. Currently, selected component makes it possible to perform the action of building campfire. Oh god! Uh, the selected action can be performed by one or two characters. If one character undertakes construction, the cost for it will be three action points. For the same work performed by two characters, the cost for each character will be equal to one action point. Relationships between the characters undertaking the actions together have an impact on the quality and success of the performed work. Let's select the pair option. To do this, first assign one character and then after the second slot appears. Okay, then let's put the two women to work, <laughs> I guess. Okay, they did not like each other. Actions of building can be performed in two ways, makeshift and solid structure. Makeshift requires about half the components needed to build the structure, but its quality is much lower. Credit of the characters observing the work decreases. Solid structure requires full set of components, but its quality is high. In addition, it increases the credit of the builders by people observing the work performed. Build solid campfire from the resources obtained at the time of removing the snow. To perform the action of building a campfire, resources belonging to two resource groups are required. Wood and structural elements. To be able to perform the action, the proper amount of resources from a given resource group should be provided so that its total strength equals the required group strength. When clicking on the resource group slot in the inventory, resources belonging to the given group along the wall will appear. Alrighty. Oh god, so much text. We must provide resources from the wood group with a total strength of 8 to the resource group slot. In the inventory panel, there are filtered resources belonging to this group. There is a result of removing snow. We have found 8 sticks, each with strength 1 in the wood group. Using all eight. Okay, I understand that. Great, all the requirements have been fulfilled. Upgrade. Why was that still 0%? Teamwork. This character likes to cooperate. When they perform an action together with another character, they increase their own and their comrades' morale. 
Okay, so that is a trait that she gained, apparently. Campfire has been built. As a result of work, the relationships between the working characters have changed. Witnesses, that is the people present in the camp, were satisfied with the solid structure that was built. Hence, their credit towards the builders has increased. Along with building the camp structure, its repair option appears. The structure can be damaged as a result of weather or events. The condition of the entire structure is presented by the quality bar visible in the upper right corner. To go to the repair action, press the hammer icon next to the quality or select repair action from the action list. Now that the campfire has been built, we can light a fire to warm up. Sometimes the fact of burning fire may be one of the costs of action. Perfect, the area for the campfire has been prepared. When removing snow, we found some resources lying in the snow. You can view them in the materials section of the inventory panel. To light the fire, use the fallen needles from the inventory materials section. Click the resource icon to take it or drag and drop. You can also click the plus icon. Um, show resources from the fuel. Okay, the characters are warmed up now, but everything has a price. The renegades and dangerous predators moving around the area will be attracted to our camp by its visibility. The visibility of the camp apart from the campfire level is influenced by the number of people in the camp and current weather. To reduce your visibility, you can lower the fire by clicking the minus icon next to the campfire. It will be then reduced to 5%. Weather, apart from the impact on the visibility of the camp, affects the condition of the characters. Chances of losing the expedition and camp structures every day by covering them or damaging them, affecting their quality. Camp morale means how consistent, determined and loyal are the people in the camp. Improving individual character morale and relationships during conversations between them increases the camp morale. Camp morale has a significant impact on the course of some events. Knowing the basics of the game, you use as many action points of the character as you can. I guess you can finish the day phase when you want. Press the button in the upper right corner to move on to the night phase. Whew, that was a lot of reading. I'm not sure it was necessary, but <laughs> we got through it. Log of conversations, dialogues and changes in the camp. In the day we, there are all essential changes in the camps, saved, swelled, blah blah blah, yeah. Dialogues. Events. There have no, n haven't been any events. Okay, so she is freezing. It's very cold. We need to warm up. Light a larger fire for the night. Warm then them with a warm drink of food. Our situation is serious, but let us not act rashly. Dress them in additional clothing, otherwise the health and morale will drop noticeably at night. A shocked character loses morale while performing an action. Sick. A sick character loses health and morale every night. You can speed up recovery using cold balm with, with care action and some meals. Okay, so I can warm her up, I guess. Frost slight decrease. Warm at once. Weak drinker, oh no. This character is not a drinking partner. They have a higher chance of getting drunk, st the, the drunk status. Okay. We are exhausted. Quarantine. Protection against wind, securing the area, setting snares and collecting brushwood. I think I want to do that. Remove snowbank. You still have... Yes. And snow. What does this mean? That mean? Oh, that just cycles through the characters. All right. Fence reduces damage of the camp structures caused by bad weather. In addition, it provides everyone in the camp with additional wind protection. Using an object from the tool group increases the quality. Don't have tools yet. Oh god, that seems to be a lot that I need though. What strengths do they have? 
can be used as fuel or food. Okay. Fuel. Wood. Fuel. String. Food. Vegetable. Cigarette. Good for frayed nerves. So can I... Use that... I don't have the wood or structure to do this, so let's get back. And this said it's good for frayed nerves, so if you use that... Oh, that actually helped. Quarantine point workshop. I think that's the one I want next. And you will do this. Fun snow. Strong. This character is strong and gets tired more slowly. Cool. Workbench. Makeshift. Don't think I have enough wood. No, I don't. And I would like to build them solidly if I can. Shelter. You can do this again. Oh, we've gotten some... Bugs. Ooh. They can be used as bait, though, so that's awesome. Vodka. Okay. Can we build... Do we have materials? But only one, and we need... Yeah, we don't have enough. So I guess for now it's just... Removing snowbanks beca because we can't build anything yet. And let's... You can use... Bark, some materials... Ooh, what was that? Some moss? It's also wood and materials. Don't really... If we can do the shelter that would be awesome, but we can't. We also don't have enough needles. Don't really need to add fuel right now, do we? Can we upgrade this already? We probably could. A uh, small water filter. The makeshift filter makes it possible to obtain drinking water from snow. Pot. The pot makes it possible to cook delicious dishes and meat. Okay. Seeds. Provide everyone in the camp with additional frost protection. Don't have enough materials, do we? No, we don't. Do we have enough for this? No, we don't have clay. What about this, though? A water filter. Well, we would have to use the needles. I don't want to use the needles, if I'm completely honest. No! Oh, come on, guys. Don't be like that. Do I have enough of these? Okay, then build a water filter, I guess. Handyman. This character knows the makeshift. All camp structures built and developed by them have higher quality. Nice, so I could use him to make makeshift structures and still get a good quality out of them. That's very good. I have one character with one action point left, but I don't think that does me any good right now. So they have a water filter. Providing heat, filtering water, preparing, preparing meals, improving relationships. So let's, let's end this first day and let's see what the night phase brings. Are you sure you want to end the day without using all of your character's action points? Well, I can't do anything else, can I? 
night time. Oh, when not sleeping, the characters sitting by the fire have conversations with each other. During one night, you can start two topics. Each topic is an opportunity to get to know the character better, discover their traits or change relationship between the interlocutors. Um, some dialogue can be un can unblock new topics or even tasks related to the characters. Select one of the above topics to start a conversation. Let's check in the northern crash and slaughter. No. Let's seek better shelter. Drunk tale. Alexei's introduction. Yes, please. Dear comrades in misery, I don't want to worry you, but our situation is serious. Given the weather and our current diet, we won't survive long without fresh meat and aspirin. We are at risk of scurvy and a simple cold will weaken our bodies. Oh wow, you are... Like... You are very positive. <sighs> aspirin, this damn German chemistry. You look like a scholar, so you know what that primitive people lived without aspirin. And they died. Not even 30 years old. Not even 30 years old on average. Because of runny nose? Sometimes also because of scurvy. <laughs> Must you be such a pessimist? Do you really think we will all die? Everyone? I don't know. I can see the beginning of scurvy in me. Oh, my tooth is moving. It's moving because you have hit your jaw on the floor during the accident. The shock during the collision may have caused me micro traumas, which will manifest themselves soon. Okay, Anna's introduction. Sure. I'm cold. Get me out of here. Maybe you'd like some caviar? I beg your pardon. Ooh, they do not like each other. <laughs> Easy, miss. Bit of of humor would do no harm in this situation. Humor, I'm frozen to the bone. Please do something. My poor Vera. Uh, she would bring me my fur now, and she would brew chai with Eric. But those butchers, oh, my poor Vera and Aunt Natska. I am so sorry for these names. Compassionate. This character feels compassion for creatures affected by misfortune and wants to relieve their suffering. Vera and Aunt Anastasia are already in a better place. Aww. Why did we leave St. Petersburg? We should have stayed at the estate of Prince Uchansky. I am so sorry for these names. Ah, auntie. I should have accepted his proposal. Okay, so they can work be better together, I guess. Let's gain some morale. Oh no, camp morale has decreased. Likeable, this character is the soul of the party. The friendship of other characters towards them increases constantly. That's cool. Minus one AP for two statuses. Character morale, camp morale. Morale test. Okay, so you have reduced action points and so have you. But you are good now. For some reason. The shots have ceased. The renegades r retreated from the crash site, so you can leave the camp safely. To send an expedition in order to obtain new resources and explore the nearby area, press the map button on the upper left corner. You know what? We will do that in the next episode and I will end this one here. I'm very sorry that this was a lot of reading. We are still learning the game, but I think this was also necessary because I don't think I would have grasped all of this as fast um, if I had just jumped into it and, and tried it all out. So, yes, this was the first episode of the game. I really like it. I think this will get so, so difficult. People will die. I am positive about that. 
and we will probably have to start over this game at some point and try and do it a little better. Um, but I really like it. I think this is uh, this is a, this is a really cool survival resource management game, and. If you like this as well, why not let me know in the comments down below or leave a like on the video, share it, subscribe the, to the channel if you haven't, ring the bell, all of that good stuff. I love you all so much. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye und auf Wiedersehen.